seeing the construction of Queen Street and its adjoining Abeye Street, which was approved and awarded last month by the state governor, Dr. Ifan Yokowa, residents of the area expressed gratitude to the governor. Everybody see what they do for here, and the work is not easy. He try. May the Almighty God bless him. So, I am here just now. And I want to know how to carry on. I want to know how to carry on. I want to know how to carry on. I want to know how to carry Ever since we are expressing such good things, but thank God that uh, God has bring a good government that have remember us. Even the road itself, all this way cannot be trackable, bike cannot be able to pass. But since they are doing this project now, you can see me with my machine. I can be able to move from the beginning to the end. So I'm happy for what is going on. So we pray that our government should also remember other roads that is bad as they remember Queen Street. The construction engineer, Mr. Christopher, while briefing the press, stated that the project we started two weeks ago will hopefully be completed in eight weeks' time. Uh, part of the road, like the, descent, the discharge here and this AB, the, it was highly eroded up to two meters, three meters deep. Cars uh, were not passing here until we came. Uh, for the past two weeks we've been here, we're trying to capture this place. Um, that would, we're done with the discharge, which is here towards the express, and this place then we'll now take towards the uh, Valley Market. Yes. The sponsor of the project is the Excellency, the Governor of the State, Senator Dr. Ifine Okowa, but the contractor is uh, Reginaldo Aran N. This project is uh, the client, so we say the client, is the ministry where the project is domiciled, it's Minister of Works. And it is sponsored by Delta State Government, who is being aided by the governor of the state. One of the things that gets people confused, if he's the House member here, it could be the person who requested to His Excellency the need to do this place. That's, there could be a possibility, but the job is actually sponsored by the state government. Quite frankly, the weather is, but uh, this is not the first time we're working under the rains, uh, like we sang when we were call members under the sun and under the rain with dedication and selflessness we hope to achieve it in the next um, eight weeks we should be done with this work the road is better than it was they are feeling happy and excited about it and every day they keep coming here to thank us some of them are even skeptical whether we're going to finish this job i will keep by the trucks the equipment they see every day they are rest assured that the job will be finished and of course a good number of them know us we've done quite a lot of jobs in town in ocean oh there um, um, word of faith. How many other places we've worked? We have not abandoned any job before, and we don't intend to start now. We're going to finish it eight weeks, we'll be out of this place. Okay. Uh, it's uh, the road construction of uh, Queen Street and the uh, Upper Queen Street. So we are removing this topsoil in order for us to get a, a more stable soil where we can start our filling. This is just the first uh, process in road construction. When you finish your, you do your cutting away, then you start filling or hauling. Then thereafter, the stone base, they will be drained to cater for the erosion problem. So wash through our water will not eat off the road as well as not destroy other uh, properties around the road. Some of the residents who spoke to our correspondents lauded the state government for remembering the streets which they said had become a dump site due to it dilapidated state caused by erosion. One of the residents, Mrs. Veronica Otabo, narrated her husband's efforts in fixing the road some years back. My husband now went to bring tires and dump here. But we just find that after some time, they just remove it overnight. Did not see the people that did it. And now face Arakon. That place was still rough. Was trying his best to consult the road and which we can now pass. For here, ever since then, there is no vehicle, no machine is passing here. From here to this uh, Paliki. He destroys so many houses and uh, even the road. I myself, for the past how many years, I won't tell you that I've ever crossed here to Queen Street. I only go around. I just saw this abandoned uh, road tractor was working. I said, bless God's name. Uh, we again. I was so happy. I said, oh, 
This is what my husband has been trying to do ever since, and he did not see it. She also prayed for the sponsor of the project for being able to accomplish her husband's desire of having a good road. Let's join Choma Ike for more reports. So I felt bad. I still pray to Almighty God to bless the government, give them that wisdom to continue to do better work. Right now we are in Queen Street. To my right is Queen Street that leads to the Express Road, Lagos Asaba Road. And to my left is Queen Street that leads to Araku Junction. And at my back is ABA Street. To my right hand side is the Celestial Church of Christ that has been abandoned by its worshippers. We've spoken to the residents of this environment and they are happy and thankful to His Excellency Dr. Ifai Okowa for starting this project. And they've complained of erosion being their major problem in this environment. Right now, they can gladly make use of their motorcycles and their cars. Ikem Choma reporting, PMTV News.